So people, I finally pulled that trigger on getting myself a new drone. Now if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been speculating for about six months on which drone to buy next. And everyone was saying, which drone are you gonna get? Which drone are you gonna get? But I took a bit of a controversial decision on this one. So controversial that 77% of you lot on the gram got it wrong. So the drone that I went for was actually the DJI Mavic Air. about the completely irrelevant techno music along that b-roll um i thought i'd just like i don't know i'm going to talk to you about why i actually got the dji mavic air over some of like the better drones that are out nowadays so yeah let's like get straight into them reasons and uh what's going on first of all the reason i got the dji mavic air over something like the mavic pro 2 or the 2 zoom is the fact that it is about half the bloody price, mate. I was looking at about 1,400 quid to get like the combo pack of the new Mavic Pro 2, and the Mavic Air combo pack was like 800 quid, mate, so I'm saving a bit of dough if I got this one over the other one. The size, mate, look at the size of this thing, it is tiny. I actually sold my other drone, the Mavic Pro, so that I could then buy the Mavic 2 Pro when it came out. Because you know, like everything got leaked and I thought, yes, mate, that looks sick. Hasselblad camera, the lot, mate, looks decent. I didn't go for it. Now I didn't go for it because I wasn't actually that gassed over the image quality, but now as things have kind of picked up and the firmware's got better, I'm looking at that footage and I'm like, oh bruv, that is peng. The footage looks sick. The footage looks amazing on the Mavic 2 Pro and I'm not gonna lie, it's probably one of the better drones out there to get nowadays. Now when they announced the Mavic 2 Pro, they also announced that it was actually bigger than the Mavic Pro. And that actually really pissed me off a bit and I was like, come on mate, you've made the perfect drone, just keep the size the same. So that was one thing that kind of put me off of getting the Mavic 2 Pro and something that actually made the Mavic Air a lot more attractive to someone like me. Now the fact that it's smaller obviously makes it lighter as well and it also makes the battery smaller and lighter. So that's a big reason for me to get the Mavic Air over the Mavic 2 Pro. Now I actually can't believe that I'm moaning at the fact that we've got drones that are the quality of Mavic two pros this big and I'm complaining they're still too big. Society has ruined my head mate, I'm all over the gaff. But anyway, the Mavic Air is a lot smaller, a lot lighter and for someone like me who likes to travel around a lot with a minimal, minimal gear and a little bag so I can just whip it out, the Mavic Air is actually a lot better for me. Now to be completely honest with you lot, there is one big reason why I got the Mavic Air over the Mavic 2 Pro. I've noticed over like the last two or three years of actually flying drones, that my style of drone flying, I prefer to get closer to objects than it is important to have like amazing image quality. Did that even make sense? Let me start that one again. I prefer to get closer to subjects like trees, like mountains, to buildings, than I care about large landscapes that look beautiful on images. Mate, that literally does not, how do, I, how do I put this into words? I prefer flying closer to objects to kind of get that cinematic feel of movement rather than I like the good image quality of a big landscape. That is exactly what I'm trying to say. Mate, I literally can't explain nothing, mate. So yeah, a goal for me in 2019 is to be flying drones closer to subjects, to objects, than I am looking for better image quality. Something that has massively inspired me over like the last year is FPV flying. Now there is a guy called Johnny FPV who I'm sure everyone is completely aware of. He makes the maddest FPV drone videos. The cinematics, the style of the shooting where you completely roll the axis just looks mad, mate. It's very, very similar to how I kind of do my B-roll style. So that is something that I definitely want to invest in in the future. So buying this Mavic Air made sense for me because it's a lot cheaper and I'm probably going to move on quite quickly to like an FPV drone in the future. I do actually feel that like drone flying is heading in that FPV style cinematic way. So for me to go out and buy like a Mavic Pro 2 probably wasn't the best idea because I'm going to invest a ton of money into it and then I'm probably going to move on to an FPV drone in the future. Now the Mavic Air actually has an FPV feature in the drone. Now granted it ain't going to be as good as like an actual FPV drone and to be honest with you it probably ain't going to be good at all. But I do think it's a very good starting point for me to get into FPV if that's something that I want to do in the future. 
Flying closer to objects and subjects is obviously going to increase my chance of crashing. Now, if I've got like a really expensive drone that's a little bit bigger, if I crash a bigger drone, more expensive drone, it's going to cost me more to repair or buy, buy a bloody new one. And I'm probably more likely to crash it. That's another reason why I went with the, the Mavic Air. Now, if any of you lot have traveled with drones before, you know how much of a nightmare it is to get them through customs, to get them into countries that are a little bit iffy on drones. Now, don't get me wrong, I always fly within the laws and I always check before I go to a country what the laws are and I see what I can do to get my drone into that country or try and get permission to get it into the country. But even if drones are completely legal in that country, customs will usually pull you over and ask you a load of dodgy questions that you cannot be asked to answer because you want to get through customs, just got off the flight, you want to get to your hotel, wherever you're going. And I can't be asked of all of that jibber jabber, mate. Have one, do one. So having the Mavic Air, because of the size and the weight, it's probably going to look a little bit more like a toy. So um, I'm probably going to be all right going through airports. And when I'm out and about flying the drone, I'm hoping that I won't get as many questions like, oh, should you be flying that? Aren't they illegal? No, mate, they ain't. I've checked the rules. I'm flying in a freaking fly zone. I can fly here. It's no problem. Why are you giving me aggro? I don't need it. I'm just trying to fly my drone. So that's another reason why I went for something a little bit smaller. So yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I've tested the footage on this thing. Obviously you get 100 megabytes a second and it comes out very, very decent. It's definitely as good as I need it to be. I don't need the Mavic 2 Pro's amazing image quality, even though it is sublime. But to round things up, for me, I would like to get into FPV flying and that kind of transition between my old Mavic Pro and FPV flying, I believe is the Mavic Air. So people, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am definitely gonna be feeding back to you lot what I think on the DJI Mavic Air. Let me know in the comments section whether you think I've made the right decision getting the Mavic Air over the Mavic 2. And also give me some abuse if you think I've absolutely fluffed it. And I'll be catching you lot in the next video, mate. Yeah, sick.